Now we are going to talk about the next stage of step of our argument. We have talked about the Wisher distribution. The next stage of our argument will follow as follows. Initially, we talk about uh, we talk about the distribution of X bar and S, and we shall see what is the connection between capital S and the Wisher distribution. We shall briefly mention their independence, and then finally we shall discover a uh, relationship between the capital T square and this mean dispersion matrix etc. And then we shall talk about a distribution, new distribution called Hotelian T square distribution itself. We shall isolate the features of normal multivariate normal distribution, we shall distribution their independence. We shall talk about their uh, something very analogous to the Hotelian T square statistic, we shall call it Hotelian T square distribution based on all these features namely multivariate normal distribution, we share distribution, their independence. Then we shall talk find talk about the distribution of hotel in T square distribution, null distribution. Then we shall see the connection between hotel in T square statistic and distribution and that will enable us to obtain the null distribution of the hotel in T square statistic. So let us see what we are doing, we are talking about discussing inference about the mean vector, no restriction on mean. Right in the beginning uh, we, dis uh, we uh, said that we shall have occasion to talk also about inference problems or more explicitly hypothesis testing problem, but there is a linear restriction. This we are not going to discuss now, which it will come, in a, uh, come later. And we in the process what we have seen that we have seen an expression for the likelihood ratio statistic and an equivalent hoteling t square distribution which is very much analogous to the univariate uh, quantity. So in that case, the additional feature that we have obtained here is that now in the multivariate setting, we have a matrix and this inverse. And we a short while ago, we saw that for a hoteling t-square distribution, for a Wisher distribution, we have a, we have this uh, non-singularity of random matrix when degrees of freedom is sufficiently large, number one, and the underlying scale matrix is positive definite. Now we are talking about the hotel in t-square distribution, it is not the statistic, let me remind you. So well, let us see what we have, we have a multivariate normal distribution z, its mean is 0 null vector, the 0 vector and the dispersion matrix, identity matrix of order p and capital M, it has a Wisher distribution, degrees of freedom m and ip, the same scale matrix, the identity matrix of order p. Let us look at this object. We look at Z transpose M inverse Z. It should remind us of the expression for the hotel in T square statistic. We are not going to spend time over that now. We only within a short while we shall see how it comes. So capital M times Z transpose M inverse Z. So M inverse is in that case we assume that in order to conclude that capital M has is non-singular with probability 1 if the scale matrix is non-singular and this degree of freedom is sufficiently large that is assumed here. So capital M Z transpose M inverse Z, it is said to have follow Hotelling T square distribution with parameters P and M. So let us see what are the underlying parameters M, the degree of freedom of the Hotelling T square distribution and P is a underlying dimension, the same dimension P and the same scale matrix, here the scale matrix is same as the dispersion matrix of Z. So we write this quantity M times Z transpose M inverse Z, it has a T square, hotel in T square distribution with parameters P and M, that is the standard notation. It can be proved that this is a very, very crucial result because this will allow us to obtain the cutoff point or the null distribution of the hotel in T square statistic. Let, let us uh, remind ourselves again that we are talking about hotel in T square distribution. Hotel in T square statistic that we have seen earlier will come in a moment. So this is the connection between the T square distribution, hotel in T square distribution and the F distribution. T square PM, the hotel in T square distribution with parameters P and M, it has the same distribution as M times P divided by M minus P plus 1, this multiplicative factor with F distribution with parameters P comma M minus P plus 1. This fact, a proof of this fact relies very, very crucially on the following fact. For any Wishard matrix M with uh, in the dimension P with scale matrix sigma and M as a degree of freedom, where this sigma is assumed to be positive definite, 
and m greater than is equal to p that will ensure that m inverse is m is non single with probability 1 so if we look at this ratio a transpose sigma inverse a divided by a transpose m inverse a it has a chi square distribution with degrees of freedom m minus p plus 1 for any fixed vector p cross n non null vector a i should have written the two two vectors should come so this is a very very crucial result there is no point proving it in this uh, here it, it's the crucial result result we should be aware of so let's see the connection between the hotel in p square distribution hotel in p square statistic as i said the hotel in p square distribution has several component one is x bar the other is s the other is s inverse the other is it's a quadratic form we already encountered in the last slide this quadratic form so we have some understanding about the quadratic form involving a hoteling involving a multivariate normal variable and the wishart matrix now we are talking about the quadratic form so let's see when x1 through xn are iid independent identically distributed having a common normal distribution then the following hold x bar is same dimension normal distribution the same dimension with mean vector mu and dispersion matrix sigma by it is exactly same as a univariate setup we recall that in the univariate setup distribution of the univariate sample mean is same as has the same mean and the variance is divided by n and then in the case of the univariate setup we have seen that the corrected sum of square summation x i minus x bar square it has a chi square distribution with degrees of a degrees of freedom n minus 1 provided the sample variance is 1 in this case the role played by summation x i minus x bar square plays in univariate uh, situation the same role is played here by n times s the dispersion matrix that has a wishart distribution in dimension p with the scale matrix capital sigma and this is the degrees of freedom n minus 1 exactly same as univariate setup and more importantly it's an extremely important fact exactly in the univariate setup x bar and s are independent so we assume now that in order to talk about the hotel in t square statistic now we assume there we had this ex the expression for the hotel in t square statistic involved the inverse of the s matrix we have seen that s has this distribution we have also seen earlier that in a wishard for a wishard distribution i can talk about its inverse provided that the degree of freedom is sufficiently large that means n minus 1 greater than is equal to p and the underlying scale matrix is positive definite so we assume that the scale matrix sigma is positive definite and n is greater than is equal to p p plus 1 so using some of the earlier results it follows now that this object n minus 1 x bar minus mu transpose s inverse x bar minus mu it has a t squared hotel in t square distribution with uh, parameters p comma n minus 1 the calculation is so very simple i uh, leave it to the student they can certainly without any difficulty they can work it out and also connect using the connection between hotel in t square distribution and the f distribution we can write this as the same quant this t square dist there is a connection between hotel in t square distribution and f distribution we recall that and we rewrite the same sentence in terms of the f distribution now n minus 1 so we write this distribution of this is n minus 1 x bar minus mu transpose s inverse x bar minus mu that has the this f distribution multiplied by multiplicative constant which is n minus 1 times p divided by n minus p so what we see now finally we see that this is the last sentence it is the null distribution of hotel in t square statistic that is t square is equal to n minus 1 etc it has the same distribution of this now standard tables are available to to tell us about the cutoff point of the f distribution with degree of freedom p and n minus p so from that we can quickly do the calculation once we have the data ready we should compute x bar we should compute s we should compute s inverse then we should compute this quantity and we compare with the corresponding f distribution quantile so that's that's what we should do now so that that concludes the discussion about the inference about a mean vector when there is no restriction on mean so as i said we shall after this we shall go to a situation where there is a restriction on mean so that discussion will follow now so we are talking about this linear restriction on mean so here is a fairly well known problem 
it was it's a very well known practical problem studied originally by professor c r rao in back in 1948 this is uh, he studied this in his uh, very well known paper and this this particular data set that one that i am going to show uh, in the next slide it is particularly useful for classroom teaching so what does it study let's see it studies whether the amount of bulk deposits in trees are uniform over directions so we shall see that so what the data they, the data are for there are the sample sizes as i said in the previous discussion when there was no restriction on mean we we observed that there are the sample is sample is comes as in the form of a matrix so there n is the sample size and p is the dimension of our data so in this case the n is equal to 28 and instead of p earlier it was 3 now it is 4 so for each of the 28 trees the samples that bulk decomposition four direction the data in the table in the next slide consists of weights of cork borings taken by rao from the north the south and west directions of the trunk for 28 trees in a block of plantations that's what he did what the problem was this was a problem that uh, there was a suggestion from professor mohal anadish the problem is to test whether the bark deposit varies in thickness and hence in weight in the four directions probably whether or not it was uh, affected by sunlight that could have been one question that professor mohal anadish it was suggested by professor professor mohal anadish that the bark deposit is, is likely to be uniform in north and south directions and also uniform but less in east and west direction so we shall we shall not look into this part now it is it, this is not our uh, one of our agenda now so basically the question is let's see what the question is before that let's see the data so these are the these are the data so we see that there are 28 observations for each of these observation there are four numbers this what are these numbers these are weight of bark decomposition cork boardings in the four direction for 28 trees and what the question is to see whether if we if we assume that this 28 observations are coming from a multivariate normal distribution in dimension 4 then we want to see whether there are the corresponding population mean if i call that mu1 mu2 mu3 and mu4 they are all same so let's see how we can go ahead with that so let us denote this observation by x1 to xn this has been our discussion for quite some time now here n is equal to 28 we assume as before that the observations are coming from independent identically distributed having a common normal distribution with mean vector mu dispersion matrix sigma where p is equal to 4 let us remember that we have been using the notation p in the earlier problem p was was 3 in this case p is equal to 4 and we write mu is equal to the individual entries of the mu vector is mu1 through mu p and as before the ij th entry of sigma is small sigma ij so let's see how can we formulate the question we can formulate the question as following hypothesis testing problem so all this mu i as i said for the four direction the corresponding population means are all same so the, if we denote the population mean by a vector of dimension 4 into 1 and if we co call the corresponding entries mu1 mu2 mu3 and mu4 all these objects mu1 mu2 mu3 and mu4 they are all same against h not is false how can we write this we, we notice that this quantity th this statement mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3 is equal to mu4 can be written as this mu vector pre multiplied by by a matrix of size 3 cross 4 is equal to 0 where this matrix a it can be chosen like this so if i post multiply this matrix capital a by mu1 mu2 mu3 mu4 what we shall get we shall get mu1 minus mu2 then mu1 minus mu3 then mu1 minus mu4 all are zero if and only if all these mu i is as zero so therefore this statement follows that mu i is are all same if and only if mu is equal to 0 so capital is given by this and the crucial fact to be noticed is that rank this three rows of capital a matrix are all linearly independent and therefore the rank of a is 3 so what we shall discuss after the this is that so given a multivariate normal sample iid observations from a multivariate normal distribution if we pre multiply mu by a matrix capital a whose which is of full row rank how can we test for mu is equal to 0 or more generally mu is equal to a given vector b where mu is equal to b is, is a consistent so this is what uh, so the next part of our discussion will revolve around how to solve this question and what we have seen earlier 
that will serve as a building block for what we have we are going to discuss now. So, in this lecture what we have discussed uh, are the following thing to begin with we have talked about hotel in t square distribution. Initially our expression for hotel in t square statistic that compelled us to look at something like the Wishart distribution then we found that there are additional complication namely the expression for the hotel in t square statistic is actually a quadratic form where there are several parts one is a multivariate normal vector one possibly a multivariate normal vector then there is a Wishart like matrix. So, we found that then uh, first of all we have to talk about uh, something like the hotel in t square distribution. So, hotel in t square distribution ingredients we emphasized it has a multivariate normal distribution it has a Wishart distribution and they are assumed to be independent. Based on that we obtained the we defined the hotel in t square distribution and also the connection between the hotel in t square distribution and f distributive which is very very important. Then we mentioned very briefly an important fact which is crucially important for establishing the relationship between the hotel in t square distribution and the f distribution. Then we proceeded with our discussion about the hotel in t square statistic. It has several components one part is a multivariate normal uh, sample mean vector one part is a sample dispersion matrix and the inverse part. So, so we first notice that the sample mean vector has a multivariate normal distribution exactly as in the univariate setting sample dispersion matrix has a Wishart dis, uh, distribution modulo the, uh, the multiplicative factor 1 by n and the sample mean vector and sample dispersion matrix they are statistically independent. So, which is exactly same as the univariate setting and if we let the degree of freedom to be sufficiently large or the sample size sufficiently large in particular the sample size n is greater than is equal to dimension plus 1 that is p plus 1 then the dispersion matrix is non singular with probability 1. So, that we can formally define the hotel in t square statistic. So, now we fall back on the result connecting hotel in t square statistic and the uh, hotel in t square distribution and uh, f distribution we finally show that the hotel in t square statistic has a appropriate f distribution that that is the null distribution which enables us to uh, per implement the test. Then we go ahead with the testing problem of multivariate about a multivariate normal mean there is a when there is a linear restriction it is motivated by an example that example the motivation came from a very well known data set which came from from a paper by professor C R Rao written in 1948 which appeared in biometrica it is about bulk decomposition of uh, in in four direction north east west and south of 28 trees that he himself took and then the question is to see whether the bulk decomposition is uniform over the four direction and this problem under the assumption of multivariate normality one can show that the testing hypothesis problem of testing whether the bulk decomposition is uniform in the four direction can be written as a linear restriction on the mean. So, we have seen that the linear restriction is of the form the multivariate normal mean vector mu pre multiply a matrix A. So, in this case mu is of size 4 cross 1 a is of size 3 cross 4 and a is of full row rank that is where we conclude the discussion and and this is a specific kind of question that we shall take up in the next lecture that is we are having a sample from a normal distribution with mean vector mu dispersion matrix sigma sigma is unknown and we wish to test whether a mu is equal to b a consistent system b is a known vector a is a known matrix and a is a a is of full row rank that is what we shall continue with the discussion in the next lecture.